back to another video we uh just made it to the shop not long ago from a run out to iowa it's like two o'clock so i'm gonna do a little couple things to the trailer well realistically just one thing i got the bug at mats seeing all the nice trucks and everything so i'm gonna get started on the trailer a little bit doing little things here and there that you'll see in this video over the weekend today's thursday so i still got one more day of work before we start tearing into the trailer but the trailer is going to stay here tomorrow i'm going to pull another trailer because i got all new tires coming for the trailer you know i just replaced the other two on the front axle on the driver's side so the rest of those are getting replaced this weekend they need it so i'm waiting on my tire delivery to get here but while we wait on that well i don't know if i'm a 100 percent wait on that i may go pick them up myself but uh we're gonna take this air ram off uh, if you go watch my short that i posted i don't think these things work i think they're a load of crap um i don't know not for a spread axle at least now tandem i can see it maybe working but for a spread i don't see it working so it's just sandwich plated in so we're gonna get to ripping this thing off um i believe just bolts on the outside they're 19s so oh let's see what we can do here i believe Of course, can never get away easy, huh? Never can get away easy. I have a small air leak on this trailer too that I've been chasing, trying to find lately, and I can't find it. Well, I can't seem to find it. I've used water and soap and everything to try to find it, and I can't find it. try to keep all these bolts together just in case because i believe my dad wants this thing to see if he if it'll make actually if it's actually making any difference he's gonna throw it on uh one of the tandem trailers so and actually while i'm thinking about it i'm gonna go grab the jack and put it up under here so at least it won't fall completely to the ground so we can put this thing Even though this probably won't make a difference it's probably still gonna fall but at least it'll possi possibly be able to just be rolled up out of here with the jack
Go that one smack. In we're out. All right. Let's find all of our washers and bolts and nuts. and stuff move them up out the way which i'm probably just gonna slide them all up over here for now and i'll put all of those on the brackets and put the brackets back on this thing there's a washer or two up under there so look at that This thing's probably a good 200 pounds or so, I think. This thing's heavy. Definitely ain't light, that's for sure. But uh, look at all this space we got up under here now. All the space in the world. And that looks 10 times better if you ask me. Now, I just gotta figure out where somewhere to put that thing. day i don't know if you guys can see it but i got a crack in my windshield again freaking rock roads get me every time i swear but if i make it back in enough time today there will be uh somebody coming to change out my windshield if not then it's gonna have to wait for a little while until i get some time to get it changed out because a lot of places don't do this sh stuff on saturday anymore everybody's closed on freaking saturdays now so it's hard to get crap done when you work throughout the week called one company they don't they specifically why is there a wheel chop that's interesting but uh they specifically in my area don't work on saturdays but they do mobile service and, it, and another thing is it's hard to find mobile service that works on semi trucks because i'd rather somebody come out to my shop and uh do everything on the truck rather than taking the truck somewhere 
and because if i take it to the dealership well i got to get it there monday through friday and they take forever so like i said i got an appointment for today later today i should be back in time enough to take the visor off and everything else but we will see now we gotta work through the cluster so we can get back in to 29 which is right over there so i'm gonna wait till he goes so i can swing around right here and bag up make it a little bit easier instead of blindsiding all right looks like we finally got some action <laughs> so now once he starts over starts to back in I can start to back in yeah, we'll find out I might hit that puddle there by that culvert truck needs to wash anyway in the morning, fun morning, man. all right let's see what we can get done here straighten ourselves up and back right on in oh no I, I, I kind of effed that up I definitely effed that up Yeah, I just screwed myself up completely. Great. And it doesn't help because 29 over here, the lines really don't match up to the door. So that doesn't help whatsoever. Because you're like in between. The line sort of thing. Go ahead and bump the dock here. And then we get the truck straight. <clears throat> Boom. There we go. That's a little more like it. Let's go in and get loaded. All right, y'all, we're loaded. Just like that, 14 spots. Let's hit the road.
song of my people. Made it here to St. Joseph. Nobody's here, which is perfect. We'll bag into the dock. Get half of this load off. And then we'll be heading to Indianapolis to get the rest off. Just like that. Three minutes, half of the trailer off. Three minutes. That's what you call service. That's the reason why I like coming over here. That's all. So, jump back on the road. We handed to Indianapolis. Indy and they're getting us unloaded now I had my GoPro running but it died on me so I couldn't I didn't get any backup footage but there she is all dirty as she is got to get her cleaned up this weekend but with that being said I'm gonna end it here it's just a quick on ride two hour ride home and that's it for my week so like comment subscribe share check out the Instagram snapchat all that good stuff merch link in the bio Amazon links for stuff that's done to the truck in the bio. Um, I believe that's it. So I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.